Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Grief Prevention plugin. So first of all, we're going to select our server version. So go to your Pebblehost page, scroll down to your server type, and click on the jar and pre-install menu. From here, you then want to select paper, spigot, or bucket. I'm going to select paper, and then paper 1.18.2, and click save. Paper is the most optimized version, so we do recommend that you do pick that as well. Anyway, click save, and then you just need to restart your server. Alright, so now I've got our paper set up, it's time to actually install the plugin. So in the description, there'll be a link to this website. This is the Spigot page for grief prevention. We can then click download now. It will then take you to the bucket page, where we can once again just click download. And then click save, and that has now downloaded into our downloads folder. Alright, so now that's downloaded, we can go back to our Pebble Host page. And then on the left, we want to go to the file manager. Once we're in here, we can then go into our plugins folder. If you don't have a plugins folder, simply just restart your server and it should appear. So go into it, then click upload, file, and then select your griefprevention.jar. Once you've put it in, you can then click back on the left and then simply just restart your server. Alright, so once the server has started up, we can then go ahead and join it. So before we do join, if we do actually go to Grief Prevention here, we can then scroll down and click on the documentation. It will then take you to this page, which you can go through the setup, admins, commands, permissions, and everything you may need. So if you only need to install it, then there you go, your plugin is now fully installed. But I'm going to show you how to use the commands. I'm not going to go through every single command, but just the main ones. Alright, we're now on our server, and we have a few people that are going to help us test our commands. So grief prevention is mainly about land claims. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can even make a land claim. So first of all, we're going to go into inventory, grab a golden shovel. There we go. And now we can just right click over here. And in the chat, you can see claim corner set. Use a shovel again in the opposite corner to claim a rectangle of land. However, if we go somewhere like here, it says this claim would be too small. Any claim must use at least 100 total claim blocks. So then we can just come over here also too small and here and there we go the claim is now big enough so this is our current claim so if 6f2 tries to break a block in my claim like here as you see he can't actually break it however if we do slash trust and then 6f2 we granted him permission and there we go he can now break and also build inside of this plot and now if we want to remove his permissions we can just do slash untrust and then 6F2. And now if he tries to break something in this land, as you see, he can no longer break it. He also can't place anything as well. All right, so now if we do the command slash access trust, we can then give him that. And it granted him permission to use buttons and levers in the claim. So now he can use the lever, he can press the button, and he can also use the bed. And I've now removed the permission by doing slash untrust if he tries to press the lever once again. As you see, he can't actually use them anymore. So the next one I'm going to show is called container trust. So here I have a chest. I can then do slash container trust. And 6 actually can't open it right now. If we do container trust and then 6F2, he can now open the chest. And then once again, we can do untrust to remove that permission. And now he can't open it. You can then take a golden shovel to mark your claim again. You can then do slash trust list. And it will mark all the permissions for the claim you're standing in. So now if we give six trust again, we've granted him trust and now we can do trust list. And as you see, he has permissions. And each color of these arrows is a different kind of permission. So he currently has the build permission. If you do want to untrust everyone in the server, you can simply just do slash untrust and then just all and it will untrust every single person in the server. So now if we take our go and shovel and mark our claim, we can also just do slash abandon claim and this will actually get rid of this claim so now whether he is trusted or not he can actually access anything and break anything he wants and he can also claim the land for himself if you have an economy plugin like essentials you can do slash buy and then claim blocks and this will let you buy extra blocks for your claims through server money and you can also do slash sell claim blocks as well all right so i've now tamed this wolf and i can actually do slash give pet and then put the username and then i can right click the pet and you see pet transferred so actually i can't make it sit anymore 
and if six right clicks it you see he actually has access over the pet now so i've given this pet to him all right so i've just created another new claim and what we can also do is slash give claim and then give this claim to six so now this claim is actually his and he can make me not be able to do stuff as well then we can do slash claims list and then the player and as you can see it says world and that is the single claim that he has if he did have more than one claim then it would show more than one of them all right so i've now claimed another area and then if we light a piece of tnt by default this tnt will actually not destroy blocks in the claim as you can see it exploded and nothing actually broke however if we do claim explosions we can then put a piece of tnt down light it and as you see it can actually be blown up inside the claim this will also enable it for everyone else as well so be careful with this one all right so the last thing we're going to show is that i actually can't damage his pet so this is 6f2's dog and as you see it says that belongs to 6f2 and also if i try to break blocks in his things it also says i can't do it i can then do slash ignore claims bear in mind you'd have to have a certain permission or opt to be able to do that and now i can break and also i can also hurt his dog if you are looking at how to use different permissions then on the documentation there is a ton of permissions that you can choose from and on the commands they also say what permission is required to use those commands anyway if you did enjoy the video definitely leave a like and also subscribe and hopefully i'll see you next time